All right, so our viewers um, compliment of the season. Of course, um, leadership is a price that many are not willing to pay. But when we meet those leaders who are selfless, we celebrate them. One in our program, the Honorable. Of course, some of these leaders are microcosm of what true and selfless leaders is given any given opportunity. Today, in this program, the Honorable, we have the privilege to feature a man that we believe is selfless, a man that we believe has contributed immensely to the politics and leadership of Lagos State over time. Of course, this man in question is not relenting, is still promising to do more given any opportunity. Uh, today, in this program, the Honorable, we shall be having a tip tat some questions with this um, Honorable. He will bear his mind on some of the happenings within the, the council and the group he has formed. Prince Fielawa is the name in this program, the Honorable. Appreciation. Yeah, welcome back, our viewers. Before we went on that brief break, I do tell us that we are going to speak with a honorable that is making us proud in this um, community. It is my joy to welcome to the honorable program today. No other person but honorable Bola Afiku Yomi is in the house. Good to have you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Uh, how has it been like today? What does it really mean to you as a person? Uh, before I start, let me correct the name. My name is Honorable Femi Abiola of Kiyomi JP. All right. And um, I want to be grateful to God for keeping us to this day. Uh, we started January 1, 2019 as a as a football match. And we thank God that today we can see and have the hope that come 2020 shall be our day and our year of glory. Once again, I thank you and I thank God Almighty. All right, sir. Uh, on that note, I really want to appreciate and thank you immensely. Now, take us there. What really surrounded the idea of forming the Golden Group? Uh, Golden Group was formed in 2004 at uh, number 14 Akinde Street, Balogun. Uh, it was like a playboy. It was in my dream. Something was telling me that uh, I am sending you a message. You have to go and deliver my people. You have to go and form a group that I, God, will give you support. So we started with 23 members on the 28th of uh, December 2004. Like I said, at number 14 Akinde Street, Balogun, Iju. All right, sir. So the first chairman of the group was uh, Honorable Kamaru Din Sumono, popularly known and called Amuba Obrasco, uh, deputized by Otumba Babso Rogers. So that day, we couldn't come with a name. We just sat down that we are politicians. Let's try and bring ourselves together. Then the following week, the following uh, meeting, it was there we decided that uh, let's give this group a name. And eight names were given out, were mentioned by the people okay. at the seat. That day, we are 32. So out of the eight names, we started to vote, and at the end of the day, Golden Group emerged. That's how Golden Group was formed. formed. All right. Now, over these years, what has been the success stories of Golden Group? Mm -hmm. I have to appreciate God first again. Uh, Golden Group has come to stay, and it has done a lot. Firstly, everything that I do is into government. I want to appreciate the government that I involved in at that time. Uh, a lot has been done uh, in aspect of uh, admission. The first, the first order, the first target, the first thing we did in Golden Group was when admission is 
going on. That time I was in PDP. I was a special advisor to the Honorable Minister of Works and Housing, Otumba Honorable Adiseye Ogulewe, who happens to be the minister at that time. I was a special advisor. I was given two portfolios, special advisor mobilization and special advisor drainage. So I used this opportunity, this government, this position to assist most of our students who intending looking for admission into University of Lagos, which I can say as has today, at that time, 42 students were given direct admission in University of Lagos through my effort and the support of the Minister for Works and Housing at that time. Okay. Uh, and all these people were from Ifakojai local government, oh. not from any other local government. All right, sir. I have the chairman of the wards at that time can testify to this. One person I can mention who has us today is also a, she's a leader. She's also a chairman of a CDA in Ifakojai today. Uh, she's been called No Rival from C1. Okay. She can testify to this because she was the one that uh, was pioneering, gathering people at that time for this. Right, also, that time, who was the, the, the person who was deputizing at that time was a bathroom, as I said. All right. So, they all took part in making sure our students were given direct admission. That's the first uh, first odul of a golden group. All right, sir. Fifteen years down the line, fifteen good years. Two thousand and four, you said. What has been the common challenges, if any, of golden group? <laughs> there are a lot of challenges. You know, most of the leaders doesn't want us to exist. I won't mention anybody, but I thank God that uh, most of them start see it as if it's going to be opposition group to challenge the formidable group at hands, but I told them it is not so. I don't want to know where you belong to. I don't want to know the group you belong to. What I'm after, as far as I'm in the party, and I'm in the right party, and I'm with my people, whoever that comes to the, the group, we don't we don't differentiate whether you are from Justice Forum, or you are from Mandate, or you are from uh, Ekosaku, or you are from uh, Ajumot. No, 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 no. All what I am after is as far as you are a party member and you come into my group, whatever that you decided or you, you hope of getting with the blessing of the Lord, you, have, you will get it. So the challenges is overcome after some two, three years, which I am today, I am grateful that Golden Group has performed very well right. out of all the groups in Lagos State. And I can start giving what and what I have done with the little position given to me. All right, sir. Um, thank you, our viewers. We are speaking with our dear Honorable Femi Abiola Fikuyomi. Of course, he's bearing his mind on the formation, uh, formative days of um, the Golden Group. So away from all these ones, what is really keeping you in that Golden Group? Away from the challenges of the people. If you are doing selfless service, what is still keeping you? Uh, uh, everything is the glory of God, too, because the results that comes out of what I'm doing, give me more. There's a day I decided that I'm going to close up this group. Why? Because people thought it is for me to get into power or to contest and all these things. I told the members that uh, today is going to be the last day of this group meeting. And they all agree with me. But again, before the second day, there was a message. That I was the one that sent you a message. Why are you bothering yourself? Hmm. Please go back to your people. And we continue. So what makes me to be happy today is that uh, the group has successfully give out a lot of things. It has taught a lot of people's life. Okay. People's life. I can say it anywhere. And I'm very grateful that the group, with the assistance of God, support of God, and some two or three people behind me, we can say, thank you, Jesus. Glorify your name. All right, sir. Is there any one or two persons in Golden Group that you just want to appreciate 
you know, for their efforts, teaming up with you to keep the group? Mm. Well, first of all, I will appreciate the DG of the group, who has been very good, supporting financially, morally, and otherwise. Because since the group has started, he's the only one that remains with the group from the onset. Others went, not by fight, by anything, but they just decided, you know, politics is your, your interest. It depends on where you have your interest or your love. So I will appreciate that too. I will appreciate all the advisors, all the patrons and matrons of this group. Uh, it was like a play when we said we want to inaugurate the patron and matrons. But up to today, they are all good and fine. So let me just mention a few of them. Uh, we, uh, Prince Honorable Bouyga Savadou Adebayo is one of the patrons. Honorable Jide Olukoga is one of the patrons. Uh, Honorable KB Aromire. Uh, the council chairman, the two council chairman, Botifako Gayano Jokoro, then uh, Dr. Mrs. Odutayo, the MD, Terrence Two Randall Avenue, Apostle DB Matron, uh, Mrs. Pastor Yabodi, Regina Obasa, who happens to be the chief patron, chief, chief matron. And uh, Mrs. Uh, Adedoyi, Olaide Omoshebi, also a matron, and so on and so forth. Uh, the, which the I cannot mention all. Endless. Yes. Of, of course, uh, there is no problem. We really want to appreciate the Golden Group for all this uh, stride. But the last one on Golden Group, how are they contributing to the growth of Ifakoijai and Ujokoro at the time? We contribute a lot to. All my members, every program or every activities in the both local government, we are, we are, we are, we are, we, we, we present and we partake our whole. Like the one of just recent, when the governor visited Ifakojai, we did our banner, we mobilized ourselves to give the governor the support for commissioning 31 roads in uh, Ojokoro. Okay. But also, I seized the opportunity. To appeal to the good governor and his deputy, Mr. Bajide Olusola Sonwolu and uh, Dr. Kadri Obafemi Amzat, that I personally, I want to tell them to know that uh, if Akwaja is backward, is not rewarded in uh, giving us infrastructure in the local government. And we give votes. So I make this a loud, and I want to appreciate the governor for recognizing me with his word and say, or before we have cured me, I know you are the one. <laughs> Yeah. All what you ask for is given to you. So if the golden group is not there, if I'm not there, I think that opportunity cannot come. So I want to appreciate that the golden group is being recognized. And not only in Ifakojai, golden group is existing in 37 local government and NCDA in Lagos State. Come, come January 24, we are going to celebrate our 15 years of existence. We are going to invite people. We are going to do get together. So we are going to see all the local government that in Golden Group in Lagos State. Then let me just give you what, before I say the, the achievement of my, the achievement of Golden Group. In terms of employment, we are number one. In terms of employment, we are number one. 
and anybody, anybody can go and find out when they were recruiting in last month in 2016 with the grace of the lord 27 members of golden group who are party member of apc were considered were considered and given job today they are all working okay. also in the in the education area when the superb were doing recruitment also in 2016 golden group through me through my effort 29 were employed from various local government so these are the achievements also in the empower we are able to put 15 there clean lagos we are able to do 22 these are facts that anybody can verify so and and so on and so forth even in in temple in local government in if i i can vow my chest and say i'm having 15 people that god used me for them to be taking something in if i local government all right sir. i think at this point uh, let us um come back to the house yeah. you double as the super for aggregate if i is that correct I am the supervisor for Greek and social services, okay. shift and share affairs, okay. boundary matters, youth and sports, and intergovernmental. Also, I am the BOT for supervisor for uh, for shift and see in Lagos State. Also, the chairman, state chairman of uh, supervisor for Greek in Lagos State. All right, sir. Um, thank you for that um, portfolio. But presently, there seem to be challenges in Ifakoja. Is, is, that, is that correct? There is no more challenges than a financial uh, problem. When we have money, we need to do better things. But uh, let me just, let me, I won't call it a challenge. Okay. I just say that is the way God wants it to be. But as of today, in my department, I can say, two or three things that uh, my that department has done. Okay. Can we just have one or two yes. of the of our viewers? Yes. Uh, in terms of the CDA and CDC, I can say today that uh, through myself and my HOD and uh, God, the CDC in Ifakojai and CDA held their elections and everything went on well. The right. chairman in March and all the CDA, there was no rancor, no fight, no death, no problem. So that is an achievement. And in the area of farming, uh, we also have a farmer association, but with lack of uh, finance, but uh, they are also part of Fadama, part of uh, Afan in Lagos State. They take part in whatever government is doing. And today, if Akojai is good in farming. All right, sir. Um, viewers, uh, I'm still speaking with the Honorable Afiku Yomi. Of course, I told us as we began that leadership is a price that many are not willing to pay. I'm speaking with a man that is selfless, a man that is willing to do more if opportunity continues to be on his doorpost. So what, in your view, is leadership? In my view, leadership is a uh, God-given. Nobody can emerge as leader if God is not given you. A lot of people say, I'm a leader, I'm a leader. No. Your achievement, your rapport with your people, your vision for them, your, their, their future, that is the way I see leadership. Not that uh, I come on and maybe you are honorable, uh, you are past honorable and you, you say, you are, no, 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 no. What are the things, what are the quality that people can see in you that can show them? Not everybody that is in power is a, is a, is a leader. It depends on your country. Even in, the, in your community area, your effort show that you are a leader. Like me, I don't call myself leader. I always tell my people. Some people call me mentor. Some people call me JP. Some people call me honorable. But what I believe is, I believe in what are my people are going to benefit from your position from my position time. from my group for the influence that i have and i used to tell my people here when you are coming to this golden group have three things in mind 
that you are going for this which of the things that you want for your future let's put it on the table let's pursue it i want to thank bola uh today the national leader of uh, apc is a very fantastic man very agile articulated and knows what he's doing his mind is so free there's a lot of challenges that he's making but i pray today that uh, he will make it in life he will lead us to the to the promised land that presidency could come 2023 i should we make it and we, i will give him support and my groups and also the governor of lagos state every support required from me will be given to them because they have done well i also want to say the bad news that i have in the group but i thank god is being controlled in 2018 or 2019 it should be 2018 or 19 sir, one of our member who happens to be a last man was a uh, shot dead by the SA, uh, sir policeman uh, he lost his life that is a uh, idea more uh, wrote me Okay. So happens to be about uh, today. I promise them that uh, with the God's support, I will do my best to see that the uh, uh, government compensate the family. And I take up the issues, do a little that I can do. But at the end of the day, the former governor of Lagos State was able to give the family 10 million naira, which I thank God and I thank him for doing so. So, and for my efforts, I did not relent all those areas that I need to go and make sure that the thing is done. Is. So, once again, I'm grateful to go for the existence of the governor of the, of the, of the group, Golden Group, mm -hmm. shine forever and will continue to shine. The motto is empowerment of the masses. Mm. All right, sir. Um, very final question on the subject of leadership. Yeah. Many people have the opinion that the leaders are not responding to the people you know, on the right time. People are complaining that the government, the leadership are not the people. No, I will not agree with them. First of all, when you say leadership, anybody can be a leader. Anybody can be in a position. But we create a lot of problems for our leaders or for whoever that is representing us. Let me give you an example. Like I used to tell people, either you vote for someone, you didn't vote for someone, once that person gets into government, it has become it has become everybody's uh, representative. But we, as politicians, we don't have our future. We don't plan for our future. We believe and relent on those leaders. But you don't go to them and tell them what you really want. Tell me what you want. Not that when Odun comes, you want this or uh, you want to pay for school. Now, let me, let me, like I said, our followers. Most of them don't know what they want. They believe once they vote for somebody and that person is in government, all their bukatas should be, should be done by. No. Let's look for something better. This government is doing good things. But most people that enjoy, that benefit from these things, are non-politicians. And we create the avenue. I don't see a reason why I should vote for you. Then I will not be able to come to you and tell you, Eskisa, when it comes to employment, oh, I need job. Oh. When it comes to empowerment, I need empowerment. Even some who are given empowerment, they are not using it. I can cite the example of many people. When they say they want to do this, they will do it, they will take it. But at the end of this, they sell that uh, the, the, the equipment given to them. Hmm. All what they want is uh, come to me, go to Salvador, go to Makinde, go to Ja, go to. No, 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 no. That is not. To collect stipends. To collect stipends. And age is, not, is against all of you. My advice to you people, the leadership is anybody can be a leader. Even in your house, you are a leader. But what is most important is I'm appealing to my people, my followers, my, my politicians who, uh, uh, who, who just don't understand this thing. Let's ask them what is our future? What do you have intention in doing? Of which uh, Lagos the government is giving out money to people to to establish their business. How many of our people partake? When you say you give them form, I'm not after this door. 
all these read meanings. Some people just come and take it and went away. So once again, leadership is by what you want or what you need. All right. If you must design the templates of leadership, of yeah. course, the choice is yours. I do tell us that leadership is a price that many are not willing to pay. Of course, when we meet men that are ready to pay the real price for leadership, we celebrate them in our program, The Honorable. Many thanks, sir, for that insight to the subject of that um, leadership. Now, come back to Golden Groove. Yeah. What were the expectations that you were not able to meet this year? Like I've said, the meeting I held yesterday on the 30th of December with my people, I told them, we are going to year 2020. And between January and June, I want to see a good result. I am ready to go out for anybody to get what he wants, but all what I want from them is they should monitor whatever they are asking for. 2020 is going to be a very good year for Golden Group because I have mapped out my, 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 my ways, what I'm going to do in terms of employment, in terms of empowerment, in terms of positions. I have it in my agenda now. Comes January, I will start implementing it. And also, come next year, Golden Group is going to do empowerment of its own. We are going to do empowerment that will give people one or two things. And also, Golden Group is, we are in two. There are Golden Group of political aid, or Golden Group Foundation. We have registered, we have an NGO today, that by, by God's grace next year, we are expecting some grants from some areas which my people will benefit. But all what I want is let people be coming to meeting so that they can have the grace and the opportunity to have all those things. To benefit from, to benefit from it. Right, but come 2020, it's going to be a different golden group. All right, sir. Um, um, on the 23rd of um, December, yeah. I remember His Excellency making mention of you while he was coming to commission the road. He so described you by name and the, the type of cap that yeah. you yeah. you use. Now, will you now say that this mentioning of Golden Group places Golden Group in the good record of the state? Yes. Like I said, there's nothing they do in Lagos that we don't partake. Our, a lot of our letters is the government. Even if they don't, if they don't answer us in Mini League, I believe future is there. What you need to do is to first of all establish yourself, which we have done. And I want to be, I want to say it again. The governor, I want to thank him for recognizing me. The way I put on my cap will be the 20 years, 20 years that I've been doing it. It is not just I start today. Because the governor noticed it. So they have noticed it, they know the way I do. And I also have a brother who we also we look alike. Everybody know him, we know each to ourselves, which is a Prince Honorable Bega Salvador Debayo, the chairman of a uh, wolf landing. So if you see both of us, the same style. the same style. So the governor know. And again, another thing that people don't understand is this. God give me six voices. The only one that I normally use, I don't need microphone. So once I talk, you will know who's talking. So governor knows I'm the one talking, and I told him, if I could just deserve compensation, deserve infrastructure, which he agreed with, and I think by January in local government, 22 rules will be done. In I'm, I'm saying I'm it to governor, my chest, I'm Mr. Saying, governor, but by today, Olu Shola, Olu Shola, Olu, on behalf of my local government, and as a cabinet member. I'm appealing to your government, you and your deputy, please come to our aid. We need 22 votes minimum in Ifakwajayi, which I know you can do, which you have promised that we do. So in your, in your, in your speech, 2020 speech, please put it there that Ifakwajayi will be taken care of between January and March. So by coming Easter, you will come and commission 22 solid road in Ifakodiai. God will bless you, sir. 
and God will bless His Excellency, of course. During the time He came, He do promise if I could die, that He's going to do something. He said it. He said it that uh, I feel me. I hear your cry, and it is it is confirmed. And we will do it. We are coming to Ifakodaye. He said it's a man that when he talks, he stands on his word. All right, sir. Let us digress a bit. With this emergence of Golden Group, yeah. will that seemingly be that you possibly may be contesting for a higher political position in this local government, given the privilege? No. God has created me that sent me to this world, has given me what to do. I am a kingmaker. I'm not a king. Anyone who is a kingmaker and try to turn himself to king is, is out of the system. So I'm a kingmaker and I will continue to be a kingmaker and I will continue to be in government. I am there to assist. Whenever you see any banner, it is golden group and nothing. Okay. I'm going to leave luck. So I am not going to contest. Any other appointment that goes or did, I will take it with grace and I will do my best. All right, sir. Uh, suppose the people say you should be the king within the community. What will happen? God will decide. It is God's voice that is important to me. Right. Whatever I want to, but what I am today, it is God's grace because a lot have happened. But today, will I remember when I was detaining put detention? Or will I remember when I was doing a uh, conductor and what so today it is god that did it and this group might want to know i can say it again my group this my political group i will say is the only group that stand family we hold our meeting every week but when you look at other groups apart from mandate and justice forum who are solid and standard group in Lagos State. All other groups is either you are you are in government, you you form a group. When you leave government, the group, the group dies. The group dies. But my own group does not die. Either I'm in government, though, I'm not in government, though, I am going on. So All it right, is sir. God that sent me. All so right, God group will continue to shine. It will shine forever. I empower people for life. Yeah, um, you've heard um, our Honorable Do say that if you are a king maker, if you try to make yourself a king, you will just fall. Of course, he's holding sway to this because he does not have a mind of making himself, you know, a king, but he is a king maker by the making. So what is this goodwill message you want to send to the Golden Group members and to the good people of Lagos State and all? Firstly, like I said, I thank God Almighty for giving us this day. And as the year is going, 2019 is going, all our undo goes with it. As we are entering the new year, it's going to be a year of success. So I want to appeal to my group member that uh, we should be patient, be focused, and have mission. So then uh, to the to this resident of Ifakodjai, I want to appeal to them to be patient with the acting chairman of this local government, who's just started and he started where, and I pray that God will continue to give him wisdom, knowledge, and listening here yeah, for. for for the benefit of the local government i want to seize all this opportunity also to thank him for giving us an official car which we did not expect our thought is that we are going to have the official car come february 2020 but god knows the way he do his do, he do his things we are saying february but god says december so i want to thank god for using uh prince uh, honorable usman akombi amzad for giving us the official car, we supervise us and they say, and also for making good things to the people of uh, of uh, Ifakojai, like what he did last time by giving by doing five in one program, empowerment, giving money to the privileged, less privileged people, 
then taking care of uh, the CDC, CDA, and uh, the physical challenge people. And he has promised them a lot of things that uh, come 2020, if Akoja will be the branding local government, which we know he can do it, and God will give him his grace. To the governor of Lagos State, a performing governor who has just started within six months, we can all see what he's doing. All what we need to do is let us be patient and pay our taxes and obey the rules of the Lagos State. I want to appeal to the Marwa and Okada people that whatever the government has in mind for them, they should support the government for the betterment of our people. We want to eradicate sudden death in the roads. And then in case of security, the man is doing fine. He said, we are having a less security challenge in Lagos State, and I hope it will continue like that. Generally, my people, let us be focused and be prayerful and hardworking. Come 2020, things better we call. We shall all laugh at last. I really want to appreciate you, Honorable, for creating time to be part of this program, the Honorable, available online on our Inet MTV 247, of course, on YouTube or Facebook, you can log on to be part of what the Honorable is saying. So I really want to appreciate you. I look forward to having a wonderful 2020. Thank you, Golden sir. Group will not, in a hurry, you know, forget the media crew. Because when you were appreciating pouring and comium, you were not really remembering the media. Uh, what, sorry, what sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm by joy. All right. So I'm by joy. I want to appreciate you people. Like this thing you are doing today, it is a surprise to me. I didn't expect it. But I also want to thank uh, my media man. That's uh, Gigi Kendi Torbola, who has been with this group. Is the SA Group Media. He has opened YouTube for Golden Group, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp. So I want to appreciate him. And uh, also, <laughs> I want to thank God for him. Uh, there is no program that Lagos State Government is doing. Once he put on the jacket of Golden Group, it is permitted to operate. That's to show to you that uh, Golden Group media is recognized in Lagos State, in the government. So once again, I want to appreciate you. And I want to appreciate Mr. Tunde Bill also, the, the publisher of uh, Fakojai Post, okay. who has been in the local government for years. But I know come 2020, God will surprise him. He has done a lot. He has been helping the community in, in, in terms of uh, information and news. So once again, I want to thank uh, Mr. Toro Bola and his man for this gesture given to me. Golden Group will also reward you soonest. God bless. All right, there is a slogan for Golden Group. Let's sign out with that. When we say Golden Group, we say shine forever. Golden Group, shine forever. Golden Group, shine forever. APC, next level. Our motto is empowerment of the masses. God bless you. God bless you. One again, Golden Group. Because you are guys are much we can take on this interview today. Next again next year we're going to from Fiji the Honorable. Fair blessed.